and I'm really, really glad that I took the time to do this. I honestly feel excited for the new year. I'm not always into making like uh, resolutions and things like that, but I feel like this was just a perfect way to get myself excited, to tell myself that I have so much to look forward to, especially when I'm kind of in a time where it seems like all my options are being taken away from me. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Roshni. So I moved recently and I've finally gotten to like all the little boxes of like art and different things like that that I had packed away and I can show you a little bit but I was putting all this art up and thinking about you know how long it's actually been um, since I have sat down and make art and made art and I you know looking through all these materials I realized like I used to do art so frequently and it really helped me heal for a while and I've been feeling kind of depressed and just kind of off my game for a little bit so I wanted to completely reset for the year so for 2020 I also wanted to make a brand new vision board it's been a while since I've made one and then I also wanted to um, make a little jar of like positive notes to myself for when I'm feeling really really down so I've actually made this as a gift before um, I've written like things that I like about my boyfriend and given it to him so he can like take out like a piece of candy and a little note and it's just like a great way to um, just kind of dole out compliments and, and get that little pick-me-up right when you need it and sometimes words can make such a difference and then I did also just kind of want to get back into just making some sort of art in general so I'm gonna just like explore that and see where my creativity takes me and leave that one a little bit more open-ended but I really hope that you enjoyed this video so let's just get started hey guys okay so for the first thing like I said oh I was gonna make like a little jar of positive notes that I can just use to uplift me and normally I grab some candy or like um, I could even use like confetti or something like that but I don't have it on hand and I feel like going and buying that is just kind of wasteful at this point so instead of that I'm just going to use um, different colored construction paper to make the jar look a little bit more festive um, so I just happen to have this at home so anything that you um, have would work great even if you just have like colored pencils or something um, on white paper like whatever you want to do will work and then I just have like a bag of some different colored sharpies and pens here so um, I'm just gonna get to writing and let's see how this goes some of the things that you can write down in these notes are happy memories that you have, times that you've been really proud of yourself or felt really accomplished, anything that you've learned in the last few years, things that you've unlearned, um, friendships that have helped you grow. You can really write anything. Some of what I've written are even things that I love about myself or things that I'm talented in um, and just encouraging notes in general. So you can even write things like, you know, everything's gonna be okay, you've made it through harder times. You can really write anything that makes you feel encouraged and makes you feel positive positive. and if you want you can even have people you know text you something nice about yourself and you can write that out in a note or you could give your friends and family a couple blank pieces of paper and have them write out something to you but use this practice as a way to build yourself up and don't hold back with what you're proud of and what you love about yourself like this is the time to really brag about yourself because whenever you're feeling low you can Grab one of these notes and remind yourself that it's okay, that you know you can keep going and that's what you really need in those moments when you're starting to feel hopeless or even when you're just feeling sad or you've had a bad day. This is a great way to make sure that you stay on track and look at the big picture and don't get sucked into our negative cycles of thoughts. This is a great way to just break up your current thought process and build yourself back up. The next thing that I wanted to talk about um, and start working on, like I said, was my vision board. And um, again, I think that I just needed to be a little bit more specific with what I wanted in my vision board. So I've done like a couple of bullet point notes of things that I know that I want. One of the ways that I used to make vision boards, especially to make it really aesthetic, was to go through a pile of magazines, find what called me, and um, just 
you know, go with that and make a collage out of it. And while a lot of these vision boards turned out really, really beautiful, I realized that looking back at them, they weren't really specific. Instead, it was more just a bunch of really, really beautiful images and nice photo shoots and things that I loved. But what I want for 2020 is to really manifest and be specific about certain goals that I have. And because of that, I decided to use my computer and use Google Images and Pinterest and a few other things like that so that I can search for what I want, Photoshop a couple of things together and really make it what I want my actual goals to be in 2020. And I'm using Canva to actually put the vision board together. So I really suggest that if you are getting into manifestation and the law of attraction or you just want a vision board in general, be extremely specific about what you want. Um, make it a physical piece on your vision board that you can see and then put it up somewhere where you can see it every day. And that is just going to help you not focus on what you can't do and focus on your limiting beliefs and your struggles but instead it's just going to draw you closer to that image on your board and making that more of a reality in your life it's going to start feeling more normal to you and that is a huge part of the law of attraction and manifestation that's what makes this so um, wonderful is that anyone can really make this canvas a free tool and it works great so don't let anything stop you like I feel like we always are like oh I want to do this but I need to buy x y and z to do it we let ourselves get in our own way and so I wanted this to just be simple and straightforward like I said it's not the most beautiful thing I've ever seen it's not meant to necessarily be a work of art but it's meant to be a very a tool for manifesting very specific things. And I'm really, really glad that I took the time to do this. I honestly feel excited for the new year. I'm not always into making like uh, resolutions and things like that, but I feel like this was just a perfect way to get myself excited, to tell myself that I have so much to look forward to, especially when I'm kind of in a time where it seems like all my options are being taken away from me. So this was a beautiful reminder and I would highly recommend doing this practice. Um, and if you don't wanna do it by yourself or if you're nervous, find make a vision board party invite some of your friends over encourage each other brainstorm um, have magazines where you can get inspiration and cut things out just make sure that you don't give up on yourself make sure that even if it seems like you're crazy like having this house on there that's not something that I could necessarily afford in like the next year but this is a goal and I'm taking my goals seriously and I'm using this tool to get excited about them and to not feel like I'm limited but instead to just feel like I am worth of reaching my goals and that nothing is too off limits for me so um, you don't have to qualify this by saying you know I need this by this next year but it's just a beautiful way to walk into a new year feeling like you have purpose behind you so I really hope that you enjoyed this exercise and I really hope that you try it too if you do let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear it The third craft that I'm doing is just making pointless art. So I had no vision for this piece of art. I'm honestly probably not going to put it up. I don't even really like how it turned out, but that was the entire point. I was challenging myself to do something without any standards or expectations. We always have, you know, just so much pressure on our lives to perform. And when you give yourself an outlet to create something or make something that doesn't have to meet a particular standard or requirement or that isn't going to be judged, maybe that isn't even going to be seen. These days, even people's hobbies have become side hustles and we're expecting them to perform and to make us money and all of that is fine but it's so much constant pressure to be a certain way to come off perfectly and that's just not reality and so it's amazing to give yourself a chance to express yourself and to have it not meet a certain standard just because and we forget what it's like to create something just because we like doing it and that's really what I want you to challenge yourself to do. So in making this video, I really just wanted to make the point that it's okay to make pointless art and it's okay to just be creative for no reason. You, know, you can take this to cooking. If you love being in the kitchen, then challenge yourself to make something new or challenge yourself to make one of your favorite dishes with only the ingredients that you have at home. If you like styling or you're into fashion, look at your closet and challenge yourself to make like three to five new outfits that you've never worn before without buying anything new. But the point is just that it's 
Life is already so hard. We're constantly faced with like decisions every day from small to large. We have to pay bills, we have to go to work, like, but really there's just so much stress in the world. So any chance that you can get to just play a little or live a little or just do something because you want to, not because you have to, like that has such a good effect on your mental health overall. So that was the first thing that I wanted you to get from this video. And the second was that you can also use art or creativity or crafts as an emotional tool. So as you saw, as you saw the first thing when I made that little jar of like happy little notes and like notes of encouragement, I can use that to feel hopeful, you know, or to feel encouraged or to feel like, um, you know, I'm going to get through a certain situation. And with the vision board that was, you know, to make me feel inspired and motivated and to set goals for myself and, and to start to feel really proud of how far I've come and how far I know I can go. And so if there's certain Certain emotions that you want to create you know there's always a f an art form or you know something that you can um, do that's like a tactical method of creating that will allow you to experience that emotion or draw that emotion closer to you with that happy new year you guys I love you all very much thank you so much for watching this video as always if you did enjoy it please like comment and subscribe and otherwise I will see you next week happy healing